and we are playing you a lot of great hits from seven years back, ten years back as well, and some early 2000s as well when it comes to Throwback Thursday today. Whatever you want to listen to, let us know on the hashtag Morning Fix. I do have another request that I have scheduled coming up in just a bit. It is one that I've not heard in, a, in quite a while. It's by the legendary Eminem. And this is a courtesy of Stephen. And good morning, Stephen. You say, one of the stories that I read or from the paper review was about men and sexual assault them being victims and how some men are told when you're to when you're your story and you're saying it's unfortunate that as a society we've accepted violence and will give any reason to justify it and still ridicule men being violated in different ways there's lots of work to do to unlearn this i want to listen to eight mile by eminem thanks so much for that comment Stephen. it is absolutely true assault is assault and you can't have a society where you look at assault as something that is eh, not to talk about you know, it's one of those things that really bothers you because if you look at society and they're comfortable or we are comfortable with violence in, in any regard where the innocent, the low people who are taken advantage of, because if you take advantage of somebody, it's, it's mostly a power move and you're putting them in a low position in your mind. So if you put somebody in that position and then you assault them and then for us to look at it like, yeah, it's nothing to talk about. There are more serious things in this country. Nah. Nah, fam. Aye. There can be very many serious things happening at the same time. We can blink and talk at the same time. We can multitask on issues. So those people who are saying that um, matters of assault which have been in the papers and the news are not so important. Man, shame, fam. Nah, they are. They really, really are. I'm going to be giving you a taste of the music machine in just a bit. As I told you, we have a stellar one today. It is in the club, 50 Cent. And going up against Beyonce with Sexy Little Thug. Yes, she did hop on the In The Club beat and did something with it. And you will be getting to choose who you want to win the music machine today. We have a conversation that we'd love to you, for you to be a part of. And of course, I touched on it. Uh, Oxfam, wealthiest four richer than 22 million Kenyans combined. Four people in Kenya are wealthier than almost half of the country. And we're asking, what do you think or feel about that? Some people are saying, it's their money, it's their business. What do you mean, it's their Other people are saying, did they get it legitimately? Others are saying, you know what, David, at the end of the day, me, I want to be part of them. Nivile mimi bado, bado misi jafika uko. Want to know what you think about this story here? This report by Oxfam that says that the four wealthiest Kenyans are richer than practically half the country combined. It's a crazy one. And of course, you can get more info on that and read it on the e-paper. I'm going to be jumping into the music machine. And now there's a poll. You can let us know which one wins according to you. They're both really dope. 